Hello dear students once again welcome to my video classes I am Abdul Rauf in some previous videos we discussed about the oxidation reactions especially the oxidation reactions of alcohols in this video we are going to discuss about the epoxidation of alkenes okay here the alkenes undergo a reaction called epoxidation and forms the product that are called epoxides epoxides or better called oxyrinds oxyrinds or epoxides they are forms uh, by uh, the alkenes undergo epoxidation reactions to form epoxides or oxyrinds what are epoxides or oxyrinds what are epoxides or oxyrinds we are checking with an example take an example we uh, take an a, a alkene the alkene be like this okay first and this on reaction with this alkene on reaction with reagents like metachloroperbenzoic acid say peroxy acid uh, the that is meta chloro that is uh, c6h4 COOOH this is metachloroperbenzoic acid uh, the structure of that compound will be like this this is COOH this is a peroxy acid metachloro in meta position there is a chlorine so metachloro peroxy per benzoic acid this is per benzoic acid Okay, uh, in presence of a solvent that is dichloromethane, is if it is reflexed and uh, it uh, reflexed this compound, uh, this uh, compound with this uh, metachloroperbenzoic acid, the product formed will be this one RCH CH2. There forms a bond uh, between this double bonded carbons these are the two double bonded carbons they forms a bond with the oxygen so this is called an epoxide okay this is an epoxide what if what is an epoxide so this is a stable three membered ring there forms a stable three membered ring one of one of the atom is oxygen so what is an epoxide it's a stable three membered ring with one oxygen atom so Alkenes on reaction with the uh, uh, reagents like metachloroperbenzoic acid, it gives epoxides or oxyrinds. Another example, this is the example CH3, so double bond CH3, okay, hydrogen is here, H. This on reaction with the similar metachloroperbenzoic acid in presence of dioxine dioxine what the product formed will be ch3 double bond becomes single bond and in between these two carbons there forms a bond with the oxygen h h so this is called an epoxide okay so metachloroperbenzoic acid is the reagent is a solvent and this forms the product is called epoxide or oxyrine this reaction is called epoxidation next we are going to check the mechanism of this reaction it is believed that it is a single step reaction in which one of the oxygen atom from per acid transferred to the alkene and it is also a stereo specific reaction that is syn addition of oxygen takes place here Okay, three uh, important features of this mechanism is it's a single step reaction. First, uh, no intermediate is here, it's a single step reaction. Second one, it is a stereo specific one, syn addition of oxygen takes place. And the third one is the transfer of oxygen, one of the oxygen from per acids to the alkene takes place here. And we can check the mechanism by taking an example mechanism of epoxidation reaction mechanism we are taking one example this is the alkene okay plus 
This one reaction with an peroxy acid R C O O O H. Say peroxy acid R C O O O H. Say peroxy acid. It is believed that it's a single strip reaction in which one of the oxygen atom is transferred to this alkene. Like mechanism will be like this. Using this pi electrons, one of the carbon attacks this oxygen. At the same time, this an attack takes place like this. Okay, using these electrons, an attack takes place to, on this carbon. At the same time, this bond cleaves like this. Okay, here forms a double bond. And using these pi electrons, it abstract the hydrogen or proton from here. So the product formed will be like this here the single double bond becomes single bond so single bond and there forms a bond with the, this oxygen like this the, the this carbon and oxygen this carbon and oxygen so oxygen so epoxide forms plus this is a byproduct that is r c here there forms a double bond so r c o and here is single bond and this o h so r c o h this is an acid it's an epoxide so this is a single strip uh, stereospecific mechanism of epoxidation reaction with the peroxy acids you must remember if uh, electron withdrawing pres group present in this uh, Peroxy acids, okay, electron withdrawing group presence, the rate of the reaction increases. That means uh, CH3, COOH, this is a peroxy acid, and CF3, COOH, this is more effective. That is, this is an electron withdrawing group present here. This reagent is more effective for epoxidation than this one due to the presence of electron withdrawing group in peroxy acid. Similarly, when an electron donating group present in, with this alkene, if an electron donating group present with this alkene also increases the rate of the oxidation reaction. So we can conclude that the electron donating group in alkenes increases the rate of the reaction and electron withdrawing group in uh, peroxy acids also increases the right of the chemical reaction or right of the epoxidation reaction. Here actually this peroxy acid act as an electrophile. Okay, electrophile that is electron loving species. That is why when an electron donating substituent present in this alkene it increases the right of the chemical reaction. So we can say that actually this group that is peroxy acid group act as an electrophile in this reaction and lastly regarding the mechanism of this reaction the terminal alkenes if the alkene is a terminal alkene it reacts slowly with the peroxy acids than other alkenes so this is all about the mechanism of epoxidation reaction remember it's a single step concerted process it's a stereo specific one and one of the oxygen atom from, from peroxy acids is transferred to the alkene and forms an epoxide. Next, stereochemistry of this epoxidation reactions. Stereochemistry. That is, I already mentioned that this is a stereospecific syn addition reaction. For example, uh, this is an alkene. This is an alkene CH3, CH3, say cis 2 butene. Says cis 2 butene. This one reaction with a, a parasit like peroxybenzoic acid. The product formed will be this is an epoxide CH3, CH3, H. H. That is the stereochemistry of the product will be determined by the stereochemistry of the substrate. Okay.
okay so cysteria specific syn addition takes place here this is cis and also this is a cis product formed here another thing the addition of this oxygen take, uh, takes place into the less hindered position that means for example if you are taking this one is a norbornene norbornene this on reaction with the perbenzoic acid the forms the product the product will be hydrogen hydrogens and the oxygen attached like this that means away from the ring this is an exo product exo product is more here the exo product is major almost 96 percentage than the endo product that means we can conclude that the addition of oxygen in the epoxidation reaction with the peroxy acids takes place from less hindered side okay less hindered side so the product formed will be an exo product this is the oxygen is away from the ring another example this is four tertiary butyl methylene cyclohexane this on reaction with the meta chloro perbenzoic acid a peroxy acid the product formed will be two isomeric products first one is like this plus another possibility of this one is like this CH2 okay that is this is almost 70 percentage and this is about 30 percentage this is a less hindered or unhindered exocyclic double bond and this on reaction with uh, this peroxy acid it gives two stereoisomeric product this is almost 70 percentage and this is almost 30 percentage another example this is the compound okay this on reaction with the meta chloro per benzoic acid the product formed will be this one this one okay you can see here one two three three double bonds here these are conjugated double bonds in epoxidation reaction with the paracids the isolated double bonds undergo epoxidation than conjugated one so here this is an isolated double bond these are conjugated double bonds and this isolated double bonds undergo uh, epoxidation reaction and forms the product epoxide like this this will be the product formed here next example this is OAC group here is a double bond this is two cyclohexenyl acetate okay two cyclohexenyl acetate this on reaction with the meta chloro per benzoic acid that is epoxidation the product will be OAC then the oxygen attacks takes place from less hindered side that means from back side uh, so the product formed will be this so is a trans epoxide is formed here okay? trans epoxide while if the compound be like this OH and here is a double bond in the allylic position there is a alcoholic group OH group is here here uh, here trans epoxide is formed but in this case a cis epoxide is formed that means here if the peroxide like this one COR 
in the transient state there is a possibility of formation of hydrogen bond okay this hydrogen bond stabilizes the transient state so the product formed will be that is this attacks here and this attacks here okay so this bond goes like this and this like this this is a mechanism and due to the presence of this hydrogen bonding the cis addition is favored or sin addition uh, the addition from the same side is preferred over the, from the opposite side so the product formed will be this is OH and OO cis epoxide is formed cis epoxide is formed then trans epoxide here is the reason is hydrogen bonding and lastly we are going to discuss about some synthetic use of this epoxide that is used in synthesis what is the use of this epoxide in synthesis for that we are taking one example this is an epoxide this epoxide on acid catalyzed hydrolysis gives anti-hydroxylation uh, that is this on reaction with H plus that is uh, acidification this proton is attached to this oxygen so CH2 CH2 O H plus this is a positive charge here plus okay using the lone pair of electron this lox H plus attached to here and then water comes this is the hydrolysis H2O H2O okay using the lone pair of electrons this attacks this one so this bone cleaves like this so there it forms CH2OH here OH and here CH2OH H plus okay in the oxygen there is a positive charge in the next step this bond moves like this okay and H plus leaves so the last product will be CH2OH and CH2 there is another OH is a anti dehydroxylation say okay this OH loops are anti to each other this is a synthetic importance or synthetic applications of epoxide so we can conclude the epoxidation reaction what are epoxides we have discussed about what are ep epoxides next mechanism of epoxidation reaction stereochemistry its examples lastly its synthetic importance that's all about epoxidation reactions thank you